One of the science tools that we're using here in Tonga is an ocean glider. One, two, three. Okay, okay. Whoa. It's an autonomous underwater vehicle that can sample the ocean for a very long time, very efficiently. We use it to understand subsurface processes. Today was the first deployment of the ocean glider and we're going to put it off one of the, the reefs that we've been mapping these last few days. Great success. Nice and smooth. It's always a little bit nerve-wracking to put a, a very expensive piece of kit in the ocean. But, you know, this is what we're here for. Are we ready? Yeah. Unlike most AUVs, it does not have propellers. Good to go. It has a buoyancy engine. Rather than sampling in a horizontal plane, it samples in an up and down motion at around 26 degrees. Be free. Go and sample the ocean and get us lots and lots of data. It's continuously sampling water column properties. It measures temperature, salinity, oxygen, chlorophyll, light. And the main thing that we're trying to understand is these layers in the ocean. So we have uh, warmer surface waters, uh, which get cooler with depth. And conversely, salinity is generally lower at the surface and gets more salty at the bottom. These layers are where they have very big changes, where we might be expecting internal waves, uh, tide variability uh, and wind processes. The biggest influence on our weather is the ocean. Whilst we might be in a remote location here in Tonga, we're using this data to uh, connect both uh, locally, regionally, and then also globally uh, about we, how we understand these complicated systems. And this is part of the puzzle that we get to unpick once we get all of this amazing data back. <laughs>